For reasons I don't know, I was just drawing Eugene. I kind of came in here and I had found this and it felt right. And when it started in the plaza, there was a core group of about six, seven people. And uh, it really came together well and it felt good. And, you know, we didn't look at, at the, the numbers thing as bad. It's called expansion. It meant our message was getting out. If it would have stayed eight tenths there and, a, you know, a dozen protesters, well, that would have meant our message wasn't getting out to the people. So we recognized that an expansion was on the table the whole time. And what, what Whoville is, is an expansion of what took place down at the plaza. So what are your plans for this movement? You guys got oh. a strategy in place? Uh, we're using the amoeba theory. Every time they move us, we're going to split into two or more groups. And we're just going to occupy more and more real estate. And uh, we're running out of county, so we'll be coming to the city here real soon. I knew this, but I didn't think I would see it so clearly. It's There's a lot of issues out here. And it's going to take a lot of work from a lot of people. But what I found out is one person can, can create a small, safe sleeping environment. And before any of the issues in front of us can be solved, people have to have a good night's rest. And that's achievable. We can't solve all the other problems in 30 days, but we can solve a good, safe night's rest. And as many people as you see here, I've, I, I've been around these people for three weeks, and I have seen a change in their personality and their interpersonal interactions with other people directly result of feeling safe, finding a little bit of trust in people again, and a sense of community. You know what? I'm really talking to the people here. There's leaders right here. Uh, each split we make, one of the leaders goes with it. They've had these abilities all along. They just forgot or they got to be reminded. And I could see them from across our, our, our little camp here. You know, and they're stepping up, and what's happening is they're feeling part of it, which is that's what has to happen. You know, people can't come in and out of this, it has to be sustainable because these people want it. Well, you put uh, the, mental, the mental health issues, you put the drug abuse issues. When you're under stress, you use more of a substance to feel better. You put lack of sleep in that, which is a known form of torture. You know, there's Geneva Conventions conversations we could be having here, but we don't have enough time. You know, uh, they know sleep deprivation causes behavioral changes. And that doesn't make it better for the downtown business people. It doesn't make it for the county. It doesn't make it better for the city. It doesn't make it better for the individuals who are being deprived of a good night's sleep. And that is a first step into working together. This is the second Whoville. Actually, we're calling it Whoville Local One. The fairgrounds was a trial balloon on that. And it worked very well. The community liked us, the neighbors liked us. Out here, more people going by, no, no legitimate complaints besides our presence.